You're tuned in the Cyber Workforce Poppy, the authority in cyber workforce development. In today's video, I'll be breaking down this job posting I have for Scrum Master 2. Let's dig in. All right, so let's jump right to it. I'm over here at the Namau Technological and Industrial Career page. That's where you go to view and apply to all of our job postings whenever we have one. And right now I do have this Scrum Master 2 position here. But before I start digging deep into this position, right, I want to answer the number one question I always get. And that is, how much am I getting paid for this position? So let me go ahead and open up this job description. And right here, boom, we do believe in salary transparency, right? We like to just address the elephant in the room if you will right <laughs> and here it is the salary range for this position here is uh between one hundred and twenty thousand to one hundred and forty five thousand dollars a year now one thing i want to show you i want to take you over to salary.com and show you that salary.com they post that the median salary for a scrum master 2 in san antonio is one hundred and one thousand one hundred and forty nine dollars a year right and then on the high end of, of that salary range, what's been reported is 125,000, right? Now I'll take you back to our salary range, which is 120,000 to 145,000, which is well above the median range that's reported, right? And very competitive with the high end salary that's reported on salary.com. So another thing I wanna point out as far as we're talking compensation, right? These positions do qualify for health insurance, uh, medical vision and dental coverage, accidental death and dismemberment insurance, short term disability insurance. Now, see, my only thing with that is it would be nice if they had a better acronym than STD. I'm just saying long term disability insurance retirement plan with the 401k and then we also have tuition assistance which i like because you could use this for college or certification training now what this shows right here is we invest in our workforce and you know i like that because i'm cyber workforce poppy so now what i want to do is go ahead and jump into some of the highlights as far as the requirements for this position now i'm just going to cover a few key highlights in each section right it's Deal on you to come back using the link that's in the description below do a full deep dive so you clearly understand this position and then if you feel like you uh, qualify for the position go ahead and use that link in the description below to apply so here are some of the highlights as far as the requirements we need someone that can hit the ground running to support an air force software factory called shadows edge now see shadows edge is a big deal out here in san antonio now so big that my essay did a story on them um, when they opened up their software factory. There's a group of developers that go by the name Shadow Warriors. With a name like that, best believe they're looking for someone who really knows what they're doing. So they want a subject matter expert scrum master. So you got to come in the door ready to rock and roll. You cannot fake it till you make it, right? Uh, you need to be able to jump in, establish swift trust with the team and then start facilitating scrum ceremonies right away they not messing around it's the shadow warriors man they not messing around <laughs> and they need a scrum master that could fully support them and execute 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 right because execution is king the scrum master needs to come in be ready to execute build that trust with the team and help them execute because when it really comes down to it you got to help the developers help that product owner keep the customer happy because at the end of the day it's all about keeping that customer happy i don't care what you do in the tech space we exist to keep those customers happy right so that's some of the the key requirements so now i'm about to switch down to some of the key qualifications and again i'm only highlighting a few still your responsibility use that link below to come over here and read the full description so you have a full understanding of what we expect First and foremost, you need an active top secret clearance, an active top secret clearance, not eligible for a top secret clearance. You need an active 
top secret clearance. That means when you walk through the door, you need to have an active top secret clearance. I'm going to get that out the way because some of these folks out here be like, oh, I'm eligible. I, I, no, that doesn't help me. That doesn't help the team. I need it to be active. You need to have two or more years of direct scrum master experience. Direct means it needs to be in real life. You need to have done this job for at least two years in real life. Not a simulation, right? But for real, for real, as the kids say, right? And then you need to have previous experience working in the software development team as either a developer, quality engineer, or a business analyst. And that, that experience will really help you have the right mindset to guide these teams to success. And now I'm going to switch over and look at some of the required education. Let's see down here in the education required is a high school diploma. Um, and then desired is an associate's degree or higher with a major in information technology or a cyber related field. Now, see the difference between required and desired is this. There's a salary range, right? You, you can be at the bottom of the range or at the top of the range or somewhere in the middle. Now, something as far as the education may dictate where you start at. If you only come in at that bare minimum, the required, it's hard to justify bringing you in higher than the minimum end of that salary range, right? But if you have what's desired, oh, that's a whole different conversation. So I definitely wanted to plant that seed and then certifications that are required coming in the door. You need to have at a minimum a certified scrum master or a professional scrum master one certification. And then you also need to have an advanced certified scrum master or professional scrum master two certification. If you don't have it when you walk in through the door, then you need to get it within six months of employment. And it is a condition of employment. So I'm going to need you to get that cert. OK, Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then moving on to some of the key duties and responsibilities again i'm only covering a few key highlights here as far as duties and responsibilities make sure you come back to the site and and really really peel back the onion to understand what we're looking for so first and foremost we, we need someone who can ensure that the goals scope and product domain are understood by every member in the team uh, and this requires effective leadership right because i need you to get the whole team to communicate with each other right there's no room for ambiguity right people need to communicate and you need to help drive that right and you need to help drive collaboration amongst the team speaking of collaboration you will have to communicate with some of the other scrum masters in the squadron to maximize effectiveness of scrum in the organization and then you need to make sure you're tracking stories and keep stories on track. So moving over to some of the key knowledge that you need to have, you need to understand GitLab and its common uses. That's all I need to say about that one. You also need to understand system lifecycle management principles. You need to understand what that is, what it's about so you can help support that team or the teams because you may have several teams that you have to support and you have to have subject matter expert knowledge and risk and threat assessment. Now, moving over to key skills, you definitely need to understand Jira products like service management, Git Bucket, and then other Jira software uh, and others, right? The teams, they rely heavily on Jira for support. So you will have to come in there and make sure you understand that so you can keep the teams on task. Then also you need to have the skill to translate, track and prioritize information needs and intelligence collection requirements across the extended enterprise, right? So you may be working with these teams at the micro level, but understand you are supporting the big picture, right? And then you need to adhere to agile scrum principles and also make sure you're keeping your team on the same page in regards to agile scrum principles. So overall, to encapsulate this, I said this a few times, the team is looking for a subject matter expert scrum master. You need to come in and really know what you're doing. Be a good leader, be a good facilitator to help these teams have their ceremonies, keep their product manager happy so he can keep that customer happy. So again, the link for this post is in the description below. Come back, do a full deep dive. And if you think you qualify, go ahead and apply. And if you were just watching this, just to learn more about these types of positions and the qualifications you need to get them, hopefully it helped you. And if this information helped you in any kind of way, 
make sure you click that like button and make sure you click that subscribe button and cheers to your success.